you want to update your token, keep watching. I'm going to show you how to change the token metadata of any token you created within one minute and without coding anything, only for 0.1 Solana. In this case, I'm going to update this token you're seeing here. It's Mint Supply. Okay, it's a test token I created for another tutorial, and I'm going to update everything of the token without coding, so you can see how to do the whole process. Okay, we can update the main, we can update the symbol, we can update the description of the token, we can update the image, everything, everything, everything. Okay, for doing this, I'm going to use a Smithy Tools. A Smithy Tools is a tool suite where you can manage your NFTs and tokens on Solana ecosystem without coding and for a really reasonable price. In here, we can create a token and make some other different things. But in this case, we are going to use this tool, Update Token Metadata. You will have the link in the description, so you can use it too. And let's start directly with the process. For doing the token update, we just need to connect our wallet, okay? and select the token we want to update. In this case, I want to update this one, so I can select it. It's important that you take on account that you only can update the metadata of a token you have the authority of. It means that you created the token, and of course, you can't update a token that you made immutable. After selecting the token, we will have all the information of the token in here, so we can decide what we wanna change. In this case, we are going to change everything. Let's put here immutable symbol immu. Okay, I'm going to change the image too. Let's upload, for example, this one. And I'm going to change the description. I'm going to put uh, my token is immutable. Okay, so now we can click in here on in update token. We also have the option to make the token immutable. It means that we won't be able to change the metadata later. We can revoke the freeze authority. It means that we can't freeze the token of holders. So it's needed for creating a liquidity pool. And we can also revoke the mint authority, which means that we won't be able to mint more supply of the token. Okay, so anyways, if you don't only want to update the token metadata, if you want to also mint more supply of your token, you have here the option on token mint to do it. Here you have the tutorial on how to do it. Okay. But anyways, in this case, we are going only to update the token metadata. So we click on update token. Okay. It will start the process. It will open a transaction as you can see here. Perfect. We need to pay 0.1 Solana, which is the tool fee. Okay. We click on confirm. And now the process starts. It takes only one minute so far, so we just need to wait a bit. We also need to confirm this transaction, which is just assigned to ensure the security. Okay, so we can click on confirm and it will finish the process right now. Okay, we have success as you can see here. Now we should have our token updated in our wallet and in SoulScan and everywhere. So we can click on Phantom. Let's open our wallet. And let's see, okay, here it's not updated yet. Let's see if we open SolScan, what happens? Okay, as you can see in SolScan, it's updated yet. Okay, we have the token immutable, immu in the symbol as we said. We have the new image too. So it's take a bit in order to be updated in everywhere. Okay, for example, in Verdi, in Radium, or here in Phantom, it will take a bit, but it's matter of time maybe 10 minutes or maximum one hour. So don't worry about it. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.